Hi, I'm Joe Lamb, Poly Video Conferencing Specialist here at Jenny, and today we're gonna set up the new Poly V52 with the brand new uh, MTR PC, the G9 Plus uh, from HP. I'm excited to show you this new PC, so let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with the V52 and we're gonna get the display clamp installed on it. This is the included mounting option for the video bar. It slots in here at the bottom and then we're just going to install two screws. And now we're gonna move on to getting some of the cabling installed. So on this side we have power, networking, and then if you were installing uh, an expansion mic or any other third-party audio, you would use the USB ports or microphone port here. But for now, we're just going to install the power cable. That will actually be all, because we're gonna connect the network uh, connection to the actual PC. This side is the displays, if you are using this as just a BYOD room. But for our installation today, all we're gonna do is connect to the USB-C port so that we can connect it back to uh, the main G9 Plus compute. Now we're ready to mount this above the TV and then get everything connected for the main compute and the TC10. Now we'll move on to the G9 plus uh, MTR PC that has been specifically redesigned with conferencing in mind. So we have color labeled ports on the back here for indicating different things. So here is the PoE port that's gonna be used for the TC10. And then we also have a uh, camera in port here that's USB-C. That's what we're gonna connect to the V52 on. This is HDMI in for content sharing. Uh, during the meeting, and then we have three display boards. Today we're only going to install one display, so I'm going to go ahead and start cabling up. Now that we have it all cabled, we're ready to get it installed and then work through the redesign setup process that has made MTR on Windows a much easier process for getting set up. Once you have the system powered on and everything connected, we're gonna to come to the TC10 to walk through the setup. So it's gonna ask you to choose a language and keyboard layout. And we're gonna skip adding a second keyboard layout. Let it check for updates. Now it's gonna restart and then we'll continue setup. Now that it's restarted, we're gonna review the license agreement. And then once you've reviewed it, click accept. Once you've accepted the Teams end user license agreement, you'll be brought to this screen where you can set up a Teams room account through a provisioning code, or what we're going to do today, the manual setup. And here you will enter in the email and password for the resource account that you've created for this room. If you haven't done that before and need to know how, we will be walking through this in just a few moments. Now, once you have the credentials entered in, you can hit finish and it will sign into the room and get it set up. All right, now we're in. As you can see here, we have all of the meeting controls for the room, the room calendar. And next, we're gonna show you how to build a resource account for a Teams room. create a Microsoft Teams room resource account, 
We're going to go to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, select Rooms and Equipment from the Resources tab on the left hand side, select Add Resource, choose the resource type, which is Room, give the room a name, add the URL for the email, set capacity, give the location a name inside the building. Add a phone number so that you are able to call the room through Teams. Select Save. And we are all set. Thanks for watching this install of the Poly V52 and the Poly G9 Plus MTR PC. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your Jenny sales rep and then like and subscribe for more content from us.